Umberto Pellizzari and Francisco Pippin Ferreras are the two best breath-held divers in the world. The restriction of air bottles and breathing apparatus is not for them. Trained in yoga and with a lung capacity of 7.9 litres, half a litre more than normal, Pellizzari has managed to remain underwater holding his breath for over seven minutes. Now, after years of rigorous training, strict physical discipline and mastery of technique, he and Pippin can enjoy complete freedom whenever they choose to explore and enjoy the wonders of the deep. Umberto could swim perfectly by the age of five. Born in the Italian province of Varese, far from the sea, he spent many hours at the local swimming pool. But it was not until military service on the island of Elba that he really mastered free diving, plunging to a then record depth of 212 feet. His friend and great rival Pippin comes from Maranzas on the north coast of Cuba. Asthmatic from birth, he had learned to swim before he could walk and was soon earning a living as an underwater fisherman. The deeper he dived, the more fish he caught. Both men feel completely at ease with the sea. Nowadays, instead of catching fish, Pippin prefers to glide with them. Here in the clear waters of the Red Sea, today's two top exponents of free diving have come together for the first time. For a change, not to confront each other in competition, but just to chat and to relax. They're planning a dive on a local wreck. As they head towards the wreck, years of practice of swimming for six and seven hours a day ensure that they can locate this silent monument effortlessly. There is a great deal down here to explore, but as Pippin and Pellizzari meander through the rusting steelwork, their minds are never far from the extremes of their sport. 
Quite apart from the record for underwater endurance, there are the records for depth. Free divers are always challenging their own limits as well as testing each other's capabilities. Today, the sport's governing body has issued precise regulations concerning the three different categories. And it's Umberto Pellizzari who holds the record for the purest form of them all. In the constant mode, the diver has to plunge to a marked depth using only a lungful of air and the strength of his legs and flippers. Grabbing a token to prove that he has achieved the target, he turns and heads towards the surface. Palazzari says that in free diving, this is the feat that is most important to him. On the 19th of September 1992 in Ustica, on the coast of Italy, he dived to a depth of 230 feet a record that stands to this day. There is also the variable weight mode. Here the diver submerges sitting on ballast which must not exceed one third of his own body weight. On hitting the marker, he has to rise to the surface under his own power. Pelizzari also holds this record. In July of last year, using contact lenses to rid him of the restrictions of a mask, he plunged to a depth of 330 feet. But for the ultimate test of man's ability to sustain the pressures of the deep without any artificial aids, the absolute mode must be the most demanding. Sitting on unlimited ballast, the diver controls the speed of his descent by adjusting the tension of his rig on the guide cable. As he strives to equalize the pressure on his ears, he tightens or loosens the control screw. Watched over by a team of 15 supporting scuba divers, he hits the target depth. Then, as he turns, he releases a canister of compressed gas incorporated in his wetsuit. Two minutes and 26 seconds into the dive, the device catapulted Pippin Ferreras into the record books. On the 18th of December 1994, in Key Largo in Florida, he sped upwards, climbing the equivalent of a 40-story building to establish the world's deepest breath-held diving record, plummeting to 400 and 16 feet. The underwater perils of the boat, classic drama, next on BBC Two. <laughs>